Oh, I can smell what The Rock is cooking in his armpits. Why is he so sweaty in movies these days? You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Journey to the Mysterious Island. What is this place? Atlantis. A mountain of gold. I can't believe it. In two weeks, we'll be on the cover of Time magazine. This is amazing! Oh! Let me warn you, this island is full of dark jungles and terrifying creatures. That's emasculating. Hey, I love The Rock, but anyone who's seen Fast Five in the trailer for this movie knows what I'm talking about. Doesn't anyone on set have a towel for the poor man? Because if you think all that sweat is distracting now, wait until you see it in 3D. And the 3D in the sequel promises to be amazing, as it was pretty amazing already in the original film four years ago. And that one wasn't even in IMAX. See, when Walden Media does a 3D movie, they go all in. And they really do have all their chips on the table with Journey 2. The production company broke onto the family movie scene in 2003 with Holes, and quickly gained a great reputation for making quality films. Then in 2005, they had a huge mega hit with The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and found themselves flush with cash. But while The Chronicles of Narnia continues to be their biggest franchise, it has eroded in terms of box office and quality, and therefore Walden Media's reputation has suffered as well. Will Journey 2 bring them back on track? The original was their biggest hit outside of the Narnia movies, cost just $60 million to make, and pulled in $240 million worldwide. For this sequel, scheduling issues kept Brendan Fraser from returning, but maybe that's a good thing. Walden Media's choice of Dwayne Johnson to play the new boyfriend of Josh Hutcherson's mother, along with including Vanessa Hudgens and Louise Guzman, gives the pick a more diverse cast, which is always a smart move considering today's diverse movie-going audience. Plus, Hutcherson is on the cusp of Hunger Games fame, while it never hurts a movie to have Michael Caine along for the ride. So will Journey 2 deliver the goods when it comes to failing action? And will you be treated to a 3D shower of sweat from The Rock? Let's go find out. Hey, what made you go and see this movie today? The Rock! Yeah, how was yeah, he? Yeah, he was good. This could have been another Indiana Jones. Ooh. That's how good this picture oh, was. Oh, really? Do you like that The Rock is making all these family movies, or do you think you should stick to, like, G.I. Joe 2? Um, both. Both? Oh, you like the mix? Yeah. Yeah? You know, from a wrestler to an actor, he's doing really well. I like The Rock. I thought that was good. The only thing I didn't like was that fat guy. Oh, Louis Guzman? You didn't yeah. like him? Yeah. He, <laughs> he's some sort, he thinks he's some sort of comedian. He's not. So the awesome thing about the first movie was that it had really in-your-face 3D. Yeah. How was the 3D in this movie? Yeah, it was all right. How was the 3D in this movie? Very good. Yeah? Did you see the first one of these? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, so, so just The Rock brought you in, right? Yeah. I have to ask you, have you noticed that The Rock is getting sweatier in his movies? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, especially when he does. Yeah, pecs. oh yeah, yeah, he did the peck dance, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, he seemed to be sweating more. Yeah? Did you it see? distract you or did you still? No. Yeah? This special effect was very good. What would you give the movie on a 1 to 10? 1 to 10 to 9. I would give them a, a 10. I guess casting The Rock was a good idea because there were a lot of grown men seeing Journey 2, but not a lot of them would cop to it on camera. The two we did speak to, though, really enjoyed the film, overall giving it a 9.5. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.